What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me today. I got a great idea for you. It's just a question that I got asked the other day and I thought, shoot, a lot of people think about this. Let's, let's go into the issues of whether or not a late fall bear hunt is a good idea. And we're talking baited hunts here. And there's a lot of pros and cons to waiting till later in the season. Now here in Minnesota, about 80% of the bears are shot in the first week but there are a few people who just like to wait until later to hunt. And uh, here in Minnesota, we have a bear season that goes till the middle of October. Uh, there's parts of Michigan where they have seasons that, in some units that start in October. So um, generally a fall bear hunt starts the end of August or the first of September across the U.S. and Canada. But the seasons go later, and uh, some some people have their reasons for wanting to hunt later into the fall. So let's go into some of the pluses and minuses, pros and cons of a later fall bear hunt and I'm talking let's say uh, in the month of October let's just generally say. So one of the advantages of waiting until that time is that most of the other bear hunters are either got their bear or have given up. The outfitters are done. You know they try to put all their hunters in the first two to three weeks to minimize the cost of continuing to drag things out. They want to get everybody in at the same time. So the outfitters are generally done and uh, most of the other hunters are quit. So you don't have uh, as many competition in the woods for baits and for people seeing what you're doing and uh, you know following your trails to your baits and messing with you and stuff like that. It's just kind of fun to have the, the woods to yourself I guess you'd say. That's as far as bear hunters go. Now, as far as October goes, now you've got grouse hunters and things like that that could give you trouble. But generally, there's uh, with with a lot less bear baiters in the woods, your bait may be the only one in town. So it's uh, that's a real pro. Um, a, a real con is the fact that the leaves have mostly fallen off the trees, and the ground cover is more open, and the bears can see farther. And I'm telling you, this is a big deal that most people don't think about, is that bears like to stay in thick cover whenever they can. They don't like to move across open areas during the daylight. And so it's a lot tougher to get a bear on your bait during legal shooting hours in the fall for two reasons. Number one is because they don't like to move through that more open area. Number two is the days are shorter. Instead of, uh, you know, here in Minnesota on opening day, it gets dark about 8.30. By the time middle of October rolls around, it's getting dark about 7. And so you've just taken basically an hour and a half off the front and an hour and a half off the back of the day, and uh, you got a lot less time for that bear to come in during the daylight. It's harder to get them to come in. Another positive thing about the late fall bear hunt is that there is a lot less natural foods to deal with. A lot of the acorns have been cleaned up by deer and and the bears and other animals, the raccoons and squirrels have stored them in the trees and so forth. Uh, the berries are done and so there's less natural food so in that way it's easier to get the bear to come to your bait because you've got some of the best food available and, uh, and it's easy for them to get to. Okay, another issue is the issue with the weather. Bears like nice weather okay they don't like it too hot they don't like it too cold there and I say this all the time and I'm sorry for repeating it but when you think the weather's really nice to be out that's when you'll see the most bears and it's just because they move the most when the weather's nice they're kind of fair weather animals I guess you would say so the colder it is if uh, you know it's freezing at night and stuff like that you won't have the bugs which is really nice that's a big deal too is not having very many mosquitoes on your hunt but if it's cold and windy and nasty, you're not going to see as many bears. So if you start earlier in the season, you've got the whole season to hunt. If you start later and you're waiting for that late season, you've got a much shorter window. And if you've got bad weather, then uh, you may just lose your opportunity altogether. So don't get caught up into the belief that like white-tailed deer, if you're sitting out and it's cold and you're thinking, boy, this ought to get the bucks on their feet, it doesn't work that way with bears. They like the nicer weather. So it doesn't matter if it's frosting at night, that's okay. If it's getting down into the upper 20s or 30s or whatever, 
as long as it's getting pretty nice during the day, you'll still have good bear activity until it really gets bad and they actually go into hibernation. But So those are the pros and cons that I see of fall bear hunting. There's some, some great positives and some negatives. And uh, maybe you think of something else, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I'll be happy to discuss it with you. Um, please like this video, hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. You know the drill. Um, it, it's really important to us YouTubers to have people hit the subscribe button and, uh, and like it. And it really helps move our videos forward. So, so thanks for being a part of this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope this has helped you in some way. If you get a nugget or two of information out of each of these videos, then what I'm doing has value. So we will see you next week.